Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. I'd like you to join me in the first look at the Troy Built 110 push mower. I got this guy at Lowe's for $200 and thought I'd uh, bring it out here and open the box with you. So let's get started. All right. I got this mower because I wanted to be able to bag the grass that I mow uh, for composting. And this guy has the bag with it. Hey, comes with some oil. I'll show you this stuff up close in just a second. So here on the handle assembly, um, it's got three different places where you can put this um, butterfly nut and this screw so that you can adjust the height, which is kind of cool. We'll play around with that later. Looks like both wheels are adjusted at the same time with this single bar. Now because my uh, yard here is not rocked, de-rocked yet, I'm going to put this on the highest spot. Same deal with the back tires. One bar is going to adjust everything. So just reading the instruction manual, these little screws here are supposed to bring out eight more inches of handle from inside here. Okay, so you take these all the way out. <laughs> They're very long. Okay, it says pull out eight inches. Cool. Well, that's nice. Gives you a, a lot more handle to hold on to. It probably makes a big difference in their uh, shipping, like the box they put it in, having less handle to have to deal with. So here is a view of the mower before it has the bag or the version piece put on it. I like it. Let's see if we can get a shot of up underneath here. see anything under there? Anyway, there's the blade. It is sharp. Alright. So now, let's take a look at the uh, clipping bag. Alright, so I'm guessing the logo goes up. Makes sense to me. So it's got these little uh, rubber pieces here that just kind of snug over the bar and I'm not sure about that one. Got this on the frame and apparently this little handle goes on the uh, outside of the bag. I was trying to put it on the inside. So there's our bag. Got a handle back there too. So now let's attach this to the mower. Let's see here. Lift this piece up. Here's a better view for you. So lift that guy up. And then this fits way up here in the top. There's some little grooves here. Like that. Now you won't use this at the same time you're bagging, but that guy is really simple to attach. This is the oil that came with the mower. It's just a uh, SAE30. It says pour the whole thing in here. Now 
All right. Now the uh, dipstick is on here. Might as well see where it is. Yeah, it's right where it should be. Nice. Now that we have oil and gas in here, it says to make sure this little uh, screw is loose and hold down your handle up here and slowly pull out the rope here. Until we get up here. Then tighten down this. Just hold your pull start up here. Well, let's start it up and see how it does. Here's our first look at the Troy Built 110 21-inch mower. Uh, I'm going to be using this bag a lot, I have a feeling, to uh, capture those grass clippings. And I'm sure in the spring I'll be using this because the uh, grass gets so tall so fast. But um, anyway, this is my very first mower to own. I like it. <laughs> so we'll see how well it does. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House, and I'll see you next time. I got this guy for 21, oh boy, <laughs> $21. Oh boy is right. I'd love to get that mower for $21. I just had to leave this blooper in for you because it was too funny. Well, now I've put about 30 minutes into this mower and it's doing exactly what I was hoping it would do, cut grass. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe because I post a new video every week. Now here to your left, you'll see my rigid table saw review video. Click that and see uh, what I think about that table saw. Well, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video.